Hello guys, we're playing Back to the Future the game, episode 1 of the game, um, and this is episode 1 of the series. Welcome. Um, it took me about 10 minutes to figure everything out with this game, like, because it's different from, it's like different from the phone version, like you have to do to the screen resolution stuff and, yeah. I think I got everything the way it should be. Um, I played this game so many times that I don't even need hints. And let's start the game. These episodes are go only going to be about. Um, these episodes are going to be about ten to fifteen minutes long because otherwise, the, otherwise this game is just going going to be too short. And I want to make the series about ten ten episodes long. Um. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this! occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Ah, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact, and at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal. That's true. Look out! Uh oh. Uh, Doc? Huh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, wh what happened, to Einstein? No need for concern, it's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Okay, so this is a game. This is like a point and click game. The only thing is that you walk around pressing W, A, S, Z keys like you would in Minecraft. You, you press shift, you walk faster, which. I wish I could change to control to make it like Minecraft because it made you get confused. Um, and just about this game, uh, th in this game, actually, no, I'm not going to say that, just for spoiler alerts. Um, yeah, in this game, there's going to be quite a bit of swearing, and I'm going to cut that out because I can't be bothered. And let's get the plutonium. 
What's in the box? Don't touch that! It's plutonium! But, uh, plutonium? Okay. How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? Okay, two books. Notebook, notebook. Got it! Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention! The thing that makes time travel possible! In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic! Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z and... Consequences could be catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Are we too late to stop the... sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty! Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... remembering. Okay. Um, this game has lots of talking in it, and lo lots of not me talking. So, just deal with it, I guess. Um, I'm kind of do doing a speed run on this, so yeah, let's do what I know what to do. I need to, what let's do what I know I need to do. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. 
You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Come on, I saw it first. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I picked it up first. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to... worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Okay, so... And also... What else was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say now. Yeah. Talk to Biff. Hey, Biff. Actually, no. That's useless. Ah, uh, never mind. Go back here. Pick up the guitar. Hey, Dad. Why has my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Okay, so we have our inventory here. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> Hey, look! It's Chuck Butthead! Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> You're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Wow! That was sizzling hot! Like a melting ice cube. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, I remember what I forgot to say. Um, I've got my mouse in the city right now in the countryside, and I've, there won't be any Minecraft for one or two days. And also, I haven't got internet, so this video was recorded two days ago from when it was uploaded. Okay, amplifier controls. Let's make some noise. Dad. Oh yeah. Um, you see this flux capacitor thingy as a pointer. Um, it lights up when you can when you can use something. When you can't, it doesn't light up. And step back. About Biff, Dad. I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Yeah, I do know. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. And go to use Marty's guitar. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Watch me blow the lid off this joint! Whatever you say. Rock on, Biff. Oh, shit. Ah, Doc. Where are you? Okay, I think we're going to end the episode here, and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.